Each one of the two teenagers facing charges in the shooting death of a Dollar General customer went to court this morning. Although 18-year-old Stephen Shepard didn't pull the trigger, today he learned his charges are just as serious as the suspected shooter. Our crime reporter Steve Jefferson was in the courtroom when Shepard heard the charges against him. Stephen Shepard's hearing here at the city county building took all of 10 minutes. Cumberland police arrested the 18-year-old after a robbery turned deadly after a customer was shot and killed during the holdup. Prosecutors say Shepard and a 14-year-old went to the Cumberland Dollar General around 9 o'clock Monday night. During the robbery, the 14-year-old crossed paths with 37-year-old customer Greg Rowley at the front door and shot him, according to police. Officers arrested both teens, and during the hearing, Shepard learned, although he is not the suspected shooter, he still faces a murder charge. Well, in the end, there's something called felony murder, and in this particular case, it's our allegation that the defendant agreed to participate in a robbery, and during the course of that robbery, uh, an individual was shot and killed, and in Indiana, if you agree to participate in the robbery, you can ultimately be held responsible for whatever takes place during that robbery, and in this case, that's a murder. Shepard's 14-year-old accomplice will go before a juvenile court judge December 19th, where he could learn formal charges and if he will be waived to adult court. As for Stephen Shepard, during the hearing, the judge entered a preliminary not guilty plea and scheduled his next appearance here at the city county building for January 29th. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson. The fiance of the man shot and killed at the Cumberland Dollar General is explaining her arrest in Hancock County. Indiana State Police arrested Andrea Manning in Greenfield, where they had her booked into the Hancock County Jail. Her arrest around 9 p.m. Wednesday is for driving without a license, possessing a controlled substance, and operating a vehicle while intoxicated. This is her first ever offense. The 29-year-old told Eyewitness News she totaled her car after she left her doctor's office where she took medicine to help with grief. Manning says she had a blood draw to help prove she doesn't use prescription drugs that the troopers found in the car. She says that they belong to her dead fiancé. Manning says she is confident that she will be exonerated.